not making a particularly fast start, moving down slightly. at the moment. Alan Burtwistle, three points in arrears of him on 27. Johnny Lewis and Toby Hales on 24 points apiece. And Richard Mason rounds out the top five as we come out onto the circuit for heat number 25 now. And looking at the front row, it's Alan Burtwistle who has his front row grid slot. And it's Aidan Collins who will be going off the back row. So watch out here for the progress of uh, Aidan Collins. The front row will feature Vince Hurst, who suffered that fall earlier on here today. Daniel Kafka on the inside of him. We've got Jamie Courtney and Alan Burtwistle completing that front row. The middle row, Tom Clemens, Richard Mason, Mike Hill and uh, Michael Dijkstra from the Netherlands. And the back row, Kai Fort, Toby Hales, Aidan Collins and Peter Bates. Getting underway then with Heat 25. Alan Burtwistle will take the ball to the outside. Aidan Collins with the back row. He's going to try and fight his way through to second place. Aidan Collins from the back row ready up into P2. Now has he got the answer to Alan Burtwistle to maintain his unbeaten run? Collins with two race victories in his opening two rides. Burtwistle defeated last time out by Toby Hales. Sits in the leading position having come from the front row and talking about Toby Hales. He's challenging on the outside of Vince Hurst and moves through for third position. So three of the top four in the point standings coming into this one. Sit in the top three positions here. Alan Burtwistle leading Aidan Collins. Toby Hales in third place. Richard Mason has also found his way past Vince Hurst to move up into fourth position. Hurst battling back in fifth. It's Dix from behind in sixth position. Peter Most challenging for eighth comes through for eighth actually down the inside into turn three. So a good move from posting. Vince Hurst keeping up the pace here with Richard Mason in the race for fourth position. And in a second battle over sixth place where Michael Dixter just running wide there coming off turn number two. He's in need of a lot of points if he wants to make it through to the final. And we've not got a uh, last chance qualifier race as we usually do in the DTRA format for riders to try and get through to the final in the knockout phase. There's no such thing here this afternoon, so it's all about picking up points regularly during the heat stages as they come into the final lap then. It's Alan Burtwistle in front, Aidan Collins in second, Toby Hales almost into the safety bins down the home straight. Fourth position, it's Richard Mason, fifth bins first, Dijkstra in sixth position, and now Peter Most challenging for seventh. And that's the most likely passing manoeuvre to be made on this final lap as Alan Burtwistle comes home to get the better of Aidan Collins and draw things level at the top of the point standings. Richard Mason with a good ride, Peter Most just missing out in the 
run down to the line with Tom Clements holding on. So whether that will be enough for Peter Most to remain in the top 12 remains to be seen. He sat in 11th position coming into that one with Tom Clements uh, on the same points total, 15 points. So that's really important in terms of the battle for qualification to the final. A one-wheel celebration from Alan Burtwistle, who certainly enjoys uh, stunt action alongside his racing in the DTRA Championship. First defeat of the afternoon for Aidan Collins. But uh, no great surprises perhaps as he had to come off the back row and that's always going to be a tough ask for him. Still with some excellent damage limitation. He and Alan Burtwistle will move through. Joint as top seeds for the final. That's the first news. Next up will be Heat 26.